We're continuing working on flooring in the first floor of the house. We've got some weird transition steps going to help me with and finishing up plumbing and getting the mudroom floor put in. Transitions is in, it's an inch and a half between one room to the next room where the boards don't line up because we've got two by four walls and two by six walls and it's a thing. Also, I'm not super great at putting it in, but we'll take you along, show you what we've got done so far and how to fix uh, mistakes you make. This particular patch right here is on me. I measured what I thought was the right distance on the back side of the wall and cut it to size. And then we got to the south side face of the wall and it was just way off. So now I'm having to patch in and we're gonna have a weird strip down the middle. Luckily it's in the bathroom, probably gonna be under a rug and the vanity most of it, but it's still there. All right, so don't be like me. Do good math beforehand. It's impossible to do good math with this wood. I mean, looking at it right there, it's gonna be hard to tell, especially if we get it all sanded and sealed up. I'll know about it. It's fine. Spot right there. As luck would have it, this gap go, gets wider as we go down, so it makes for interesting cuts. So that's kind of the fix it guy. I pretty much put all the flooring in myself. Yeah, I actually only did a couple of these cuts here, which also not great. So basically what we're learning is let Jamie just do it and I'll just, you know, stay away. You're in. Perfecto. Hot dog, nothing some wood putty won't fill. Except for ironically like you're completely on the exact same line as that. Just right here on I know, this I don't even know how that happens. Like everything's so random. Yeah, yeah. every now and then it just, just does what it wants to do. Okay, to show you what I'm doing on these, I'm cutting them to width on the top, and then I'm cutting the bottom tongue out because it'd be really difficult to slide it in under there, hit it in, and try to slide this tongue down into that groove over here. So I just cut the bottom of that groove off down on this side, and it goes right in. There we are. Patched it. Gonna need some wood filler. And that's all right. Okay, so we're coming up with some more short boards here. <laughs> and then short boards on the other side of that. So some of what we're fighting here isn't just my measurements. Seconds Lumber has some interesting things going on. Interesting is a good word for that. <laughs> it's real special. So that will go a little bit more flush though, right? When yeah, it'll go all the way back, but that's what I'm saying. I should okay. lose half of that middle drawer. Like, I'll, it'll still be there, but it'll only be this deep. It's fine. Because of the way I have to plumb it. We only have a partial of this drawer and this drawer too. Yeah, they're only along the side. All right, so we moved this in because all of the buffet vanities that we made earlier have been sitting outside with a tarp over them, but it's snowing and we're getting freezing temperatures. So we're gonna put them where they go. And then as we do flooring, we'll shuffle them around in the rooms they go in. That's a lot of shuffling. They gotta get moved a bunch anyway, cause where they were currently, they're in the way for Jamie to continue doing flooring out there. You don't have to be super exact at the edges because we're going to have trim and shiplap and other things and door frame that go over all of this. So these gaps are just for expansion. When you're putting in floors in the winter, your wood is smaller than it will be in the summer. So just make sure that you do leave some room for expansion and contraction. All 
Well, here comes the true test. This is the part where I'm like, oh, I gotta cut more there. I gotta trim off a little here. It's a very delicate game we play here. So Jamie's over there nailing flooring in. I've got plumbing coming right through here in the mudroom. We've also got a gas line going to the HVAC units over in the other part of the house. And this is just going to be a drop down. I'm going to run a bunch of utilities electrical through here as well over on this side. So I've just got to get this subfloor in and build this all the way up so that we can start walking over here and Jamie can continue on with the wood flooring. So this is 49 inches in between here. Oh, well. Oh, 49. Yep. That's going to be a little short on the piece. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to put it right down the middle and then we'll cover that up with siding or whatever. All right, so before I get too far into framing this out, I've got to get my hole for my plumbing in here. We'll see how this goes. little night filming for you because we lost the light but this video is going up soon so just record and show you where these are staying this is the kids buffet and it's a little bit tight got enough room to put shiplap on the side of the walls and that's about it All right, now that this pipe is coming through here to the garage underneath the crawl space and into the basement, I only have to hook up in the crawl space underneath the house and then I'm good to go. All of the drain and waste pipes are hooked up.
<laughs> Seb got a lot of plumbing done and he also started the platform where we're gonna take our floor out into the mudroom. I've been working on flooring all day and we moved the buffets upstairs, so I think that's a pretty good day. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hurry with that mudroom floor because Jamie's coming along pretty quick. She's gonna need me to have that done. Make sure you guys are hitting up jamierayvintage.com and jrbhome.com. Both those websites help support our channel. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.